I don't think this view will ever get old. I mean, every time I wake up, come outside my door, and I just look around me, it's just mountains all around, and I think this is just an amazing place to be. Let's get our door shut up here. Did I, wait, hold on. Did I get the bed folded up? Yeah, okay, we're good. So right now we have $43,361. The canola is growing pretty good, and our soybeans are nearing completion. I am gonna get myself kind of over here. Well, yeah, we'll just park right here. This is about as good a spot as I can get. And we're gonna, wait, hold on, let's see if I can go back to my track days. Ugh. Yeah, we made it over the fence. Let's climb the ladder. And we are not doing too good on bales. We, I think it was 101 bales that we had up here, like in all in total. And I will say right now, we are well below probably 30. And then I do have a surprise for later that I will show you guys, but I still need to write the check for that, and I'm not real happy about it. I really don't know how it's possible with 30, only 35 head of cattle too, which is kind of insane, but I don't know how it's possible that they're able to eat that much food. I mean, I went through and I just got done getting hay done, and I'm already back at getting more hay done. So, I mean, I guess it is a good thing that we did get this tractor, and I guess it is putting in a lot of work, so I guess that does work out for us. But I have been working day in and day out on getting these cattle fed, making sure that I got feed for them and all that fancy stuff. And honestly, I think I've spent more time on this tractor in the past couple days getting hay than I have on any tractor on this entire farm. But anyway, so what you guys are probably wondering is how from the last time you've seen me, we had, I think it was like $18,000 in the bank and now we have $43,000. So I had a couple logs laying around and I actually sold a pile of bales. I don't know if you guys were able to notice that early on, but I got a stack of bales sold and also I sold the Alice Chalmers as well as that three bottom, I think it was a three bottom, maybe it was a four bottom plow that we had, but I think we will play a game and see exactly how long that is going to last in my bank account. Knowing my luck, not very long because I have a habit of spending money that I probably should hold on to. I mean, $43,000 is not that bad. But knowing me, I'm definitely going to find a way to mess that up. All right, I do not know how it's possible. 136 bales total. I have a lot of work ahead of me to get all these offloaded. Afterwards, I got the 886 backed up to the bale conveyor, got it all hooked up and started driving over to the barn. And once back to the barn, I got the conveyor hoisted up in the air and backed up to the window to start the process of loading bales in. And one by one, we were placing bales on the conveyor and getting them loaded up into the barn. And finally, after about two hours and a couple pair of hurt feelings later, we got the last bale loaded up on the conveyor and sent up to the barn. Then we got the 886 pulled up alongside the field, as well as the 1206. I then got in my pickup and then headed into town to go to the bank. So we got done at the bank, and I think I may have taken on one of the biggest financial responsibilities that I ever have and probably ever will in the history of this farm. You can see in the top right, I'll bring it up here real close. I now have $103,415 in the bank account. And that's not because I earned that. That's because I went and got a $60,000 bank loan. And I'm going here to, well, check out this new property that I now have, I guess, purchased through the bank. The bank owns it. I have to pay back this loan. The funds will be coming out of my account here pretty soon. But in total, it did cost us $80,000. So I got a $60,000 loan and I put $20,000 down. And basically on first glance, this farm looks abandoned and looks like crap. The only nice thing I can see is this nice little cow shed right here. That's kind of cool. I wonder if we have any like, uh, oh, hold on. Hey, it's a trailer just like Jim's. Hey, I can take his back now. I don't got to keep using his now. Let's go ahead and take a look-see here inside of this um, rather, rather big shed. I kind of like this. It's actually pretty nice. It will come in handy. Man, that opened pretty fast. That was kind of scary. Um, well, nothing in here but a, but a couple bushes, I guess. It's pretty empty. But we'll take a look here. So I got a little grain bin, I guess. Um, I think this has, like, feed in it of some sort. Maybe mineral feed. Maybe that's what's for, for the cattle. Maybe there's feed for the cattle in there. And then we have our... So Whoa. <laughs> Isn't this, like, the cutest little thing you've ever seen? A little International 70. I like that exhaust on here. That is an amazing-looking exhaust. And I guess it comes with a little trailer, does it? Oh, it has. I can strap stuff down on here. I have ideas brewing up right now, but uh, we'll have to we'll have to wait to do that later. Obviously, we got fuel bit or fuel storage right here. And then in here, what kind of goodies can we find? I see some 325 bushel 
gravity wagons. I don't know what this is. This is probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I think it's a sprayer. A Han High Boy, but it's Brandon Alice Chalmers. I don't know. I might have to do some research and look into what this is. I don't really know what it is, but it looks cool. It looks really old, too. It looks really cool, though. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this is probably going to end up saving me in the long run. So, an International S1800. I think this has a 700 bushel capacity in the back end of it, but I'm not too sure. Moving on to the next mystery item. I have a Minneapolis Moline with a New Holland, uh, what is this, a grinder mixer. So this must have been a an, an abandoned cattle farm that I guess the bank had up for sale. And good thing, I guess I, the good thing I got a friend in the bank. You know, he kind of gave me a tip on this deal. And while I'm kind of glad I hopped onto it, does any of these doors shut here on this barn? No, it does not look like it. They open. Not look like they open. Um, well, I don't know if this barn's going to have any use to it in the future. I do need to get this place cleaned up, though. It is looking like a mess. But I guess since we do have this cool little mower, I did get it running. I guess I could probably go through and get some of these bushes all cleared out here. Let's see how it works, I guess. Not really too familiar with it, but I think it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're getting a lot of these bushes out of here. I want to hit that pole. It's kind of getting in the way. Now, I think this is kind of like one of the coolest little... Uh, Little setups we got going on here. So we have the International 70 on the trailer. And I got Jim's trailer taken back to him. And then we have the one that was on the abandoned farm that we just got done buying. International 70 does look pretty good on this trailer. Fits perfect. I think it was meant to be. But I think I'm going to get the 1206 hooked up to the plow here real quick. It is supposed to rain here soon. But I'm hoping that I can get the rain beat today. But for the most part, I did get some of the bushes cleaned up. But the... Minneapolis Moline would not start up. I did get that creepy little looking sprayer to start up. I, I looked up what it was and it is a sprayer. But I do have the plow put down on the ground and I'm going to go see if I can try to find the edge of the field or edge of the like the property line I guess. Because it will let me know. It just will not let me plow any further past that. But also at the same time I don't think I really need to I guess make that big of a field. I kind of want to make a couple fields in here. I think that's actually kind of like big enough right there so let's kind of like get ourselves turned here see how this turns to 360 i think is what we need to be at yeah and then we'll go a little ways over and then we'll catch ourselves back over where we started and then we'll just kind of go through and plow out the center of the field And finally, holy crap, we are now done with getting both of these fields plowed. We sure did get the 1206 pretty dirty, but that's all right. We, we can just take it over to Jim's power washer, get it all cleaned up, and we'll get it looking like it's brand new again. But so what I did is I went through and I went and got two fields all plowed up here over at the new farm site. And they should pay off pretty nice when it comes to getting some more crops planted in. I haven't checked exactly what is in season for planting, but I'm sure that I can go ahead and get some oats, maybe some barley, something that's going to make me some good money in the long run because we do have a pretty decent sized debt to cover up since we went through and bought this abandoned farm site. But for right now, I got the cedar hooked up to the A86 and I'm going to get taken and I'm going to be taking this over to the other farm so that way it's over there for when we go to start planting. But I think for something that's going to make us some decent money in the long run, I think I'm going to probably go through and try to plant some oats. I'm going to take a look at what season oats are able to be planted in. I think it's now because I think winter oats or, or maybe that's wheat. Maybe it's winter wheat. But maybe we'll be able to go through, get some wheat planted. Make sure the deer don't get into our food so we'll scare them away real quick. Get out of here. Go on. Get. But I think in the long run, planting those 
kind of crops that can produce straw bales so we can get a double amount of pay out of the harvest, I think will be our best bet to try to get ourselves out of debt. And now that I got the planter all dropped off, I'm going to be taking these gravity wagons back to the farm. And I think I'm going to be able to get a good use out of these. Um, I think it's better that I use them instead of letting them sit around inside of that barn. So that way they're just not collecting dust and I can get these things cleaned off and then we should be able to use them. Let's go ahead and get this International 70 all unstrapped real quick too. I really don't need this up on this trailer. I kind of did it as just like a joke or something. Just to kind of like haul it around and see what people are going to say. Plus I think I could use it to clean up the yard around the farm a little bit. I think it's kind of cute. There we go. Let's get this thing off. But I think tomorrow I'll go through, clean up around here, get some, some of the yard mode. But for right now, we'll get this uh, back. Well, I need to back up a little bit. I was going to park it right next to it. And I think I'm probably just going to turn in for the night. And we will see what happens later. And before I forget, I am going to go get the cattle fed before I end my day. But thank you all for watching. Subscribe.